Hey guys, so this is kind of my review slash setup of my concealed carry from my Glock 43X. Uh, I have other pistols that I can still carry, but you know, during the summer when it's hot or if I'm wearing shorts or joggers, I, I, I like to carry this one. It's a lot easy to conceal. It can be held up with really any kind of shorts and light pants, I guess you'd say. But if I'm wearing jeans, then I may go into a different option. But this is the Glock 43X MOS. Um, I've done a few things to it, but to start off, it's, it's clear. Nothing in the chamber. Both magazines are unloaded. And um, so to start off, uh, whenever I first purchased it, it was probably around $500. Um, and I ended up getting the 15 round shield arms magazine. Uh, a few months after with the metal mag release to cooperate with these magazines and the flared magwell by shield arms as well i also have the hollow sun 507k on there and i really cannot complain too much about it except for i work in construction so a few rocks got done in there and it scratched it up you can't really tell but it has three different modes a dot a circle and a dot with a circle um, battery life is pretty good on it I've only had to change it probably once in a year which I usually change on the first of every January every year um, but I started off carrying these critical defense but I noticed that it started to jam with these um, shield arms magazines I know some of them are good some of them are kind of finicky but about every 20 to 25 rounds, I had one or two jams with those. So I, I carried that for a while, just knowing that I practiced with it and I practiced for jams and, you know, out of battery. So I was really prepared to, to do anything. But in a self-defense situation, you may need that split second to save your life or someone else's life. So I switched over to the just standard FMJ 115 grain, and I haven't had really any problems maybe one jam every 100 rounds with the 15 round. The 20 round was a little bit different. It actually worked better, but I actually keep this in my pocket because it, I carry appendix and it sticks out. So it's not the best for concealed carry, but I got the We The People holsters with the optics cut and I can't complain about that at all. I can barely even tell it's there. Um, but the pistol itself, it's, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's easy to put in a fanny pack, a purse, um, anything like that. And obviously Glock is very reliable unless you start switching it up, which they tell you not to do. But I went ahead and did it just to, you know, try to improve it. But I don't know if I did that very much. Um, I actually got an adapter plate for the Hollow Sun. And all in all, it's probably a around $900 gun. I've put about 5,000 rounds on it. Try not to shoot it very much, but I like to practice to uh, to keep standard with it. All in all, I cannot complain with it. I really enjoy it. It's it's a fun gun to shoot at the range and to practice with. Um, I have a few other pistols that I carry, like my Smith & Wesson MP 2.0. Um, I like that one a lot. I've done some stuff to it. If you want to see that, just let me know. I plan to put a TLR7 sub on here. And obviously a different holster to fit that to be compatible. Um, but yeah, if you like wearing shorts a lot or if you're in a hot environment and you don't like to necessarily wear pants all day, every day, um, the 43X is super comfortable with shorts. Um, but I've kept the trigger the same. All the interior is the same. Um, but I, I really enjoy it. So if y'all if y'all like that and want to see a little bit more, then let me know. This is going to be a quick one. Let me know what y'all think, if I need any improvements, if I need to switch some stuff up or just go back to the original magazines, which I've debated on. Uh, let me know. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But, uh, yep, see ya.